Hello my loves, welcome back to Peach and welcome back to another study with Peach vlog. Gather your notebooks, textbooks and stationery to study with me throughout this vlog. Before beginning the study session, your first job is to prepare your to-do list and assign the number of Pomodoris to each task just like I have assigned 12 Pomodoris to the first task and 2 each for the second and the third task. If you are unable to understand what Pomodoro means, click on the i button above to watch my video on Pomodoro technique which is a scientifically proven study technique introduced by Francisco Cirillo. I have been preparing for UPSC since 2018. Currently, I have started studying history which has a very vast syllabus. My first task of the day is to complete taking notes of all the 11 chapters of the 6th standard history NCRT book. I had assigned 12 Pomodoris to this task, so I should be able to finish this within the next 6-7 to seven hours. I try to make my notes visually clear, hence I always keep making flowcharts and diagrams wherever possible because these things make revisions way more faster. After completing 4 Pomodoris, I took a longer break for 15 minutes. I spent this 15 minutes in making a spread for my journal. Embrace the magic of new beginnings. I prefer putting up such positive quotes on my journal. These days I have been crushing over the lilac shade because of which I have been using it a lot these days starting from my phone case to my nail paint to new sweatshirts and obviously brush pens for my journal. And then I got back to where I left my studies. Honestly, there are no hard and fast rules for taking notes. You should take notes the way you feel comfortable. If you feel that writing the sentences line by line is a better way to take notes from your perspective, then you need not change that. If you feel you're more comfortable with visual representation like tables or flowcharts, then switch to that.
I am almost about to complete the 11th chapter of this book which is the last chapter and that will bring me to the end of my first task. My online class for evolution of geographical thought has started but we are waiting for all the students to join. Till they join, I shall complete the last part of my first task. I've started with my second task that is taking notes for geographical thought. This is a very interesting paper of my sixth semester in college where we are learning about how geography evolved through paradigms from time to time. I find diagrams and visuals way better than sentences. This is a diagram that shows the paradigms in geography with the help of a timeline. It shows how geography evolved through paradigms during the ancient, medieval and modern periods. I prefer writing my answers point-wise than in paragraphs except when required. It's not just an easy way of note-taking but also a better way of presenting an answer. I got done with the second task of my day, then I took a long break and sat for completing my pending work.
I'm writing about ocean floor topography. This is an elective paper called Hydrology and Oceanography that I opted for this semester in college. See, again, I already told you that I prefer writing and taking notes pointwise along with visuals and charts as you can see in the notebook. I also go on highlighting the important words not just on the books but also on the notes. And there I come to the end of all the tasks of the day. That's it for today guys, I'll see you next time with a new video on Tuesday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel.